All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna do just kind of a start of a review on my 2023 Dodge Ram uh, diesel Laramie. It's a mega cab. And we're gonna get it all packed up here. I'm gonna clip in here a Tundra that I had bought earlier. And that Tundra, I was hoping to get away from the DEF and a bunch of diesel emission problems. But unfortunately, the Tundra was, uh, well, I'll, sh I'll put it in, I'll show you, I'll do a walk around of it, and then I'll tell you what I liked and disliked about the Tundra. Okay, so here's my 2023 Toyota Platinum Tundra. Uh, I bought this truck to try to get away from the emissions, like I was saying. And unfortunately, I only put 2,000 miles on it and ended up getting rid of it because it just wasn't adequate. Here I'm trying to pull my boat and I couldn't get the weight on the back end of it. So I actually had to buy a, a different hitch. I eventually flipped that because I just couldn't get enough weight on it. And when I pulled it up and over the coast range, I still had the sponge bounce where I just didn't have enough weight and the back of the boat would actually lift the back of the truck up. So that was pretty disappointing. And the next thing that was disappointing is at the same trip, I'm pulling that up my dad's driveway and uh, I had the transmission light come on and said that I was overheating it. And that was probably the lightest load that I could pull with that truck. So that was pretty, pretty sad. Or, or uh, this Ram and I'm gonna load it up and we'll see how much room I have. So I have two boys, my wife, and the Tundra was packed inside. So we're gonna see what this does. Okay, so quick thing about uh, this Ram Mega Cab. I noticed the prices have come down quite a bit. Uh, we only paid uh, 73,000 out the door. That's with the license and title and the new tax they have on convenience tax. Uh, the only thing I dislike about that is those mirrors. They're too chromey. I like the chrome grill up front. I don't like the chrome mirrors. I was gonna wrap them, but the guy said it would look ugly. So I'm just gonna wait till they come out with new caps and I'll replace those. I added running boards here just to make it easier to get in and out of the truck because it's so tall. And then I also blacked out the windows. I kind of like that look, uh, especially if you're working night shift, you're coming home at three in the morning. It's so nice not to have a glare in your face. I would highly recommend tinting these windows. So uh, it has the big screen. It has the heated seats and all that. Doesn't come with the sunroof. That came with the blackout edition. And they wanted $8,000 more for that. And I, I just thought that was crazy. So we're gonna load up all the boys and all the stuff. And I think I have a comparison of the other video. We're loading up right now. All right, let's put them in. Um, why did one didn't get more one Nerf gun? Cause there's not enough for Wyatt. Okay, we need more. Wyatt, go grab your Nerf gun. All right, guys, so this would be pretty cool. We're gonna load up the back of this truck with uh, all this stuff here and the drinks and the coolers. Okay, we're loading them up. I thought you were gonna race up that. You're not scared, are you? Why? I wouldn't do it that way because you'll hit the gas. You have to have speed or you'll blow it out the back. So you wanna push it up by hand or what? Are you excited, Wyatt? Yeah. All, right, All right, let's try it. Wait. <laughs> All right, there's one. See, this is why you don't wanna do that, bud. Yeah. See how when you go up too slow, you actually almost kick that off. So when you go, you gotta be committed. All right, so let's strap it down. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the camera on to Wyatt. How old are you, Wyatt? Three. Three, and he is gonna be the uh, camera guy. Just hold the camera. Okay. Grab it. Grab it. <laughs> Grab it with both hands so you don't knock it down. All right, so uh, we're gonna be doing uh, a review of our truck. Just go on that side. Here, hold it flat so that way it looks good. So we're gonna be doing a review are you might even in it? Yep, we aiming at you. <laughs> oh boy, this is really sketch. All right, Michael, you're gonna grab this. Keep, keep it going, Wyatt. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a review Ow. of our uh, Razor motorcycles, our scooters. That's Focus. If you see me in the camera, that's how you do it. <laughs> this is good practice. Someday you guys are gonna thank me. Ow. Use both hands. This hurts. Oh my gosh. Ow. All right. I think we'll put that in the video just because it's funny. <laughs> all right, guys, so we got all of our toys loaded up. Uh, the Tundra had a five and a half foot box. This is a six and a half foot box. The Tundra had higher sides, but we got way more Daddy, stuff in this truck. Be in there. Yep, we only brought like one of the, oh, the ramps, and it was so packed, it looked funny. 
So anyway, so uh, thumbs up on having a bigger box. So if you guys got kids and you got toys, I would definitely get the uh, six and a half foot box. Uh, also, you guys, I had one other quick thing I was going to say is uh, hopefully this finds really good information for you guys. So the same load in the Tundra and the truck actually looks squatty. I couldn't believe it. I was like, there can't be 500 pounds in that truck. Uh, I was extremely disappointed in that. All right. You can see that 500 pounds, that truck didn't even like wiggle. And no joke, uh, hopefully I have a video of this or a picture of the Tundra and how squatty it was. Okay, so I didn't have actually the exact uh, picture that I was hoping for, but I'm off on a camping trip. That in there in the bed of the truck was just uh, sleeping bags, a tent, some lawn chairs, and a cooler. I mean, we're talking less than 500 pounds and those two jet skis. And if you look at the tongue, look how squatty I am. I couldn't believe it. Now, the power wasn't an issue with the Tundra at, at all. I mean, it flew. It was probably the fanciest truck I ever bought. But man, it could not do any kind of work like they claimed it could. All right, so we're inside the cab, you guys. I'll kind of show you what we're getting for gas mileage. I love the diesel, but I hate the emission issues. So you can see here that I'm getting 17 average going back and forth to work. Uh, I'm hoping to get 20 on this trip. The Tundra got uh, 20.5 and I'm gonna go the exact same route. I have the exact same load and it'll be really interesting to see what we get for gas mileage. You can see it has 380.7 miles. It's brand new, so it should even get better, but I'm hoping over 20 miles a gallon. All right, you guys, so we're all loaded up. The boys are all loaded up. What I like about that MAGA cab, it gives you a full three seats in the back. So now uh, Michael can sit up front, right in the middle, and have a good view. Put that iPad there. This is something that's super cool about this, which you guys might not know. This is an iPad holder right there. Look at that. And now the kids can watch TV back there. Is that awesome? Yeah. Uh, there's definitely a lot more room. I mean, the underneath the seats are packed. Under the seats are all packed. The boys are all in there and wait till you see the bed of the truck. All right, way more room. We're totally loaded up, ready to rock. All right, so we just got done doing a little potty break. We're gonna go throw some rocks here at Detroit Lake. There's Mama and Wyatt, they're coming. So right here, you guys, this is where Detroit Lake pretty much burned off. You can still see it's still burnt all over up there. The lake is pretty low, we're way down here. Truck drove super nice. Uh, we're averaging 17.7 so far on this trip. We're about halfway to Bend. There goes Michael. Look at how beautiful it is up here. Yep, I'm coming. You need a really flat block to skip eight times. Yep. Ooh, All right, let's watch this it. One. Here goes Michael. Goodbye. That's a it. really good one. Wow, good job. Ooh, that was close, Wyatt. Dang it. All right, here goes Mama. Wow, good job. This is a great way to pass some uh, time, get the kids out here, get them to run around and put them back in the car for two hours. All right, so not bad. 18.5 driving up and over the hill. So, pretty good. All right, so we did pretty good. 18.5, you guys. We're over the hill. Uh, the room, the comfort ride was great. All right, you guys. Sun River is amazing. Here's your hot tub, your own private pool. We're going to be swimming nonstop with the boys. We love it. All right, guys. So, here's a Segway 9-Bot. Uh, I have it on sport mode. And my son has the... Uh, What's yours, bud? It's a nine bot, right? Yep. It's a nine bot, but it's for, you know, someone that's a little bit smaller. It's 15. perfect. Yeah. All right, we're gonna ride them too. Let's go. All right, so uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be for a 16 year old. Uh, Michael's, uh, what are you, seven? All right, flog it. Let's show him how fast these go. So my nine bot will actually catch up with him and pass, but that thing is freaking awesome. Don't you like it? Back brakes instead of front brakes. Yeah, it has back brakes. Mine is the old Skyle 9 bot and it's uh, front brakes, which I'm not a real big fan of. When you coast on this. 
Yeah, when you coast these, you guys, they both charge the batteries. And, and when you pull a brake going down the hill. Yep. Yeah, and when you pull the brake, it'll charge the battery. Uh, and they're good for my 9-bot. This one here, you guys, that I'm driving, this one's good for up to 20 miles. And Michael's is for 15, right? Oh, um, actually 10. 10 miles. And we went on such a long bike ride, I actually put Michael on mine and his scooter, and we made it back on one bar. It was pretty epic. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys ever get a chance to come over here to Sun River, these trails are everywhere. I mean, there has to be 50 miles of bike trails, and it takes you all the way down to the Shark, where there's a swim center and uh, a pool, an indoor pool, golf courses. Let's go this way, bud. And uh, if everything's marked on these trails of which way to go and how to get there, and you, so you can't get lost, but it's pretty epic. Okay, so uh, this swing, uh, it'll beep if you go too fast. So Michael, make it beep. There, yeah, or you do wheelies with it. Or if you go, um, if you go too fast down the hill, it'll. If you fall off it. Yeah, and if you fall off of it, it'll beep and notify you. So it's kind of cool. Uh, we're gonna take you guys up to one of the mini parks here. So hang tight. All right, so we made it to the first playground. This is called Fort Rock Playground. This place is really designed for kids. kids. There's the golf course right over there. If you go down the slide, you will go flying off it. And they got racquetball in there. Awesome place, you guys. These little segways are so fun to ride, you guys. Michael's always pushing himself to see how good he can be. Look at the skill. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Uh, on these little uh, scooters, you have to kind of get them rolling before the throttle will take off for a little bit of safety so they don't just go shooting out of your arms. And see, you'll come up and I'll push Michael and get him going. Okay, grab your steering wheel. Okay, ready? All right, you're back on your own. Wheelie, perfect. It's just like endless places to play, you guys, and have family time. Picking tables all over. We're going to take you guys up to these rock piles. And there's always these uh, forts up here on the top. Kids nerf build them. Gun yeah, Nerf gun bullets. So you have Nerf gun wars. So we'll show you what it looks like up front. All right, so we're up on top of this rock pile where they have Nerf gun wars up here. You see, this is a fort. Nice roof. They got walls. Another fort. We brought our Nerf guns too. And there's enough of us this time. We'll probably have a big Nerf gun war. Yeah, and I bring um, a whole bunch of uh, little shotgun Nerf guns. Yeah, are you cold? No. It is like probably 50 degrees up here. And they got a full basketball court here, you guys. And when you come off season or during the week, there's like no one here. It is spectacular. And we haven't seen any deer yet, but hopefully we will soon. All right, well, we didn't have to go very far. I mean, so there's a doe and a yearling and they're everywhere throughout the park. And we were here, I don't know, a month ago and we had big videos of, uh, or some videos of some really big bucks. All right, we're off to Fort Rock. We're going to show you that. So here, yeah, you guys, I'm telling you, Sun River is the place to be. So here's another set of deer. Let's see how close we can get, Michael. Only in Sun River, you guys. It's so fun here. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're like 12, 14 feet from that thing. Oh, there's another one over there. Yeah, there's two babies and a mama. All right, so we got more deer. So there's one right here. I'll zoom in on it. Okay, let me get this scooter. Okay, there's one there. There is one right there. And there's one right in there. See his little ears moving, twitching. So there's another three. All right, so in the cover of darkness, we bust out the Razor 650. This thing, you guys, rocks. I'll show you how fast it goes. Let's hit the main street. I mean, look at this thing go. Awesome. I wish I had a little speedometer thing and showed you how fast it goes. You hear how quiet it is? Love these things. All right, guys, so that's part one of our video. Uh, we'll do part two on the rest of our trip, and then I'll post it here next week. And I'll give you the full details of the truck as it drives home, the gas mileage, and I'm going to really try to hit the good reviews of the scooters. We just got rained out today. You can see how bad it's raining. It's super wet. So I wanted to have this video up for tomorrow for you guys. 
All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. We'll catch our video on the next one.